Um, hello everyone. So for this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to install the uh, IQ software for Mac of our Corsair RGB wireless headset. So just open your browser and search for Corsair for Mac and then you will be uh, having these results you may click on the first link and you may scroll down and click the download here download now to download the software no? so click the download and you will see here the downloading of software so earlier I already downloaded this one so uh, it may take some time depending on your internet speed so I will just cancel this one so just continue it uh, if you're downloading it so since I downloaded it earlier uh, I will just open the installer here so once downloaded it will move to your downloads directory here and you just double click the installer or the file then the IQ that this uh, window will appear so just click on this one the IQ.pkg and then you will be another window will be open and just click continue then agree then you may change the default installation location so I will just leave it there and continue then input your credentials then click install software so the software will be installed just wait for it to finish so there you have it just uh, installer wants to access want to find it just click ok it is already nearly done so here you can see here the icon already of the IQ application it means uh, the software is already uh, nearly done installing and just wait for it So let's click here this one. Uh okay. Nothing happening. So let's just wait for this one to finish. Yeah, yeah. So the software is already installed as you can see the IQ application already pop up. So let's go back to our installation window first. Yeah, so the installation was successful just close then do you want to move the IQ installer to trash so if you don't need the installer anymore you can move it to trash uh, or if you want to keep it just uh, keep it on your uh, device so the software is already installed you can close this one this one and this one so you have here on your desktop the software um, just you may leave it there if you like and if you don't want your desktop to be crowded with such application you just right uh, click it and um, select eject no so if you select eject it will be out of your desktop so let's open the IQ software so here in the IQ software you can see here the receiver uh, the device setting and if you have want to check for the updates if there are updates for the receiver and then 
Next is the Virtuoso uh, headset itself. So, you can uh, na manipulate here the lighting. So, lighting effects that you want. So, you can get custom rainbow, etc. Equalizer. So, there's a equalizer here wherein you can uh, select specific settings. Now, if you're playing game, you can select the FPS competition, go back uh, to stereo, or use uh, surround sound, 7.1 surround. So, it depends on you. And then, so for I'll be using this one general, so I will use pure direct uh, equalization. Then device settings here, you can check again for the updates of the firmware, battery level, mode of connection. Since we're using the receiver, it is wireless. The brightness of the lights on your headset, no? So if you turn it uh, down, it will turn off to save battery. If you want it uh, to glow, so you just uh, turn the color on then sleep mode how many minutes so you can change this one to five for example and then show battery gauge in the notification area so if you want to see the uh, the battery here so that's the battery icon of your headset then this is the battery of the mac so this is the battery of your headset so to give you some idea kung how many percentage remaining if you don't want that just uh, turn off it here and to remove so I'll leave it turned on so I am aware though the headset will uh, have a prompt a voice prompt when it's already low in battery so you will be still notified so you can turn it off if you want then this is the voice prompt now if you want the, vo the voice prompt um, gives you messages such as uh, connected, turned off, turned on, low battery, so and then charging. So it will you give you voice prompt. If you don't want that, uh, you may close this one. So it's okay for me. And then disable LED uh, mic active. So the Virtoso. RGB has a LED indicator on your mic. If it's turned on, it's color green and color red if not. So, you may check on my full unboxing and review video in the other. I will link it at the end of this video. So, you can turn off the uh, LED or turn it on. So, for me, I will turn it on. So, you can repair it again to your um, I disable so I will enable it so by default it is enabled so you are aware that if your mic is turned on or turned off so that's all for the settings you may explore the other things here if, as you wish and there you have it so another thing before we end um, sometimes you need to allow it in the system preference so go to security and privacy then the privacy tab uh, sometimes it needs access no? for this one I think it doesn't need access so you just need to add it here in case uh, it needs some access so that's all I hope you learned something uh, if you have any questions and suggestions you may put it in the uh, comment section and please like and subscribe for my next tutorial so again thank you guys for watching